If you want to add fire to your scene, but you don't have the time or processing power to deal with a fire simulation, try using stock fire footage. This won't work in every scene, but when it does, it can save you a lot of time, both in rendering and baking. I'm going to be using Big Fire 3 from Video Copilot's Action Essentials Stock Footage Pack. But if you don't have that, there are other similar options online. Or you can just record a video of a bonfire at night and get a similar result. The first step is to import the fire clip by using Import Images as Planes. If you haven't turned on the Import Images as Planes add-on yet, it can be found in the User Preferences add-ons page. When you're importing your clip, take this opportunity to set the material to a mission and make sure the alpha box is checked. Even if your clip doesn't have alpha, this will still speed things up later. Next, in the Material Properties tab, set the Blend Mode to Alpha Hashed and set the Shadow Mode to None. If your fire clip doesn't have an alpha channel, go to the Shader Editor and connect the color output of the fire clip to the factor of the mix shader. You'll probably need to increase the strength of the emission shader too. Due to the limitations of the EV render, your fire won't cast any light by itself. You'll need to add either a point light or an iridance volume light probe. The light probe being more realistic in some ways, yet taking longer. I'll show you both methods, starting with the point light. Add a point light to your scene and position it in the middle of the fire. Match the color and intensity to the fire and increase the radius to match the size of the fire as well. If you want, you could even animate the intensity and position of the light to simulate the flicker of a real fire. Here's how to do it with the light probe. First, make an iridance volume light probe and scale it to match your scene. Next, adjust the resolution to an optimal level. The higher the resolution, the better the quality, but the longer it'll take to bake. To bake the lighting, head to the Render Properties tab, find the Indirect Lighting sub-tab, and click Bake Indirect Lighting. The last thing to do, if you haven't done it already, is to enable screen space reflections and bloom by checking the appropriate boxes in the Render Properties tab. Thanks for watching this video. If you're interested in learning more about Blender, please consider subscribing. Or if you have a suggestion for a tutorial or a scene from a movie you'd like me to recreate, leave it in the comment below.